Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is question number 19 from the May June 2021 IGCSE Cambridge Paper 2 Variant 1 from the 0580 Extended Syllabus. This question is about trigonometry and trig graphs, something which has got more of a focus in this new syllabus since 2020. And for 19 Part A, we have to sketch the graph of y equals tan x for values of x between 0 and 360. Now, this is something that you should have memorized how the graph looks of y equals tan x. Um, just in case you go to the exam, for example, and you, you have forgotten how it looks. Okay. What I would suggest you do is you take your calculator, make sure it's in degree mode, and you put in some values of x um, for y equals tan x. So you put tan, and I would start with 0. So you find out what tan 0 is, and you see that gives us 0. So you can tell that it passes through 0. And then you go up in 30s. I would suggest you go up in 30s. So go down back here and put 30 in here. And you see it gives you root 3 over 3, which is 0 0.557. So like it's going to be somewhere up here. Say that's 30, that's 60, 3, somewhere up here. And then you put 60 in there. Okay, if you put 60 in there and you see what you get, you get the square root of 3, which is 1.73. So it's, gonna, it's going up a bit more. And then when you put 90 in there, what you'll see is something that will be maybe a bit strange for you, but it should remind you that it says math error, meaning that it never actually hits 90 degrees. And 90 degrees is what's called an asymptote. An asymptote is like a line that it never touches. Okay, the asymptote is like a line that it never touches. Okay, so let me just draw it like this. Get straight, yeah. Okay, so this is called an asymptote. So I'm going to draw this dotted line in this place, which you should do. And so the curve goes something like this between 0 and 90. It goes like this, something like that. You don't have to be precise, okay. It's a sketch that you have to draw. So you don't have to put those values in that I mentioned. Just to give you an idea of how it goes in case you forgot. All right, and if you do the same, if you put, for example, now uh, tan of 120, if you put tan of 120, you'll see what happens. It turns down into the negative side. It's like minus root 3, so it's going to go down here. All right? It's going to be down here. And then if you put the tan of um, 150, it gives you minus 0 0.5 sine 7. So it's getting closer to the x-axis again, somewhere over here. And if you put the tan of 180, you'll see it goes back to 0 again. All right, so that's in case you forget how it looks like. Otherwise, you should know it looks like this. So it goes, it goes like this. And then what happens after 180, 80, you'll see if I add another 30 to that, that gives me 210. It goes back to 0 0.577, and you'll see that it follows that same pattern. If I add another 30 to that, it becomes tan 240. It gives me root 3, which is 1.73. And if I put tan of 270, you'll see it repeats that same math error so there's another asymptote okay another asymptote which is going to be um over here at 270. okay so you draw your asymptote there and it will go something like this now try and make it a bit better than that okay you don't have to go through those points that's just to give you an idea of how it goes so there's your asymptote on that side. So, and then basically it just follows. If you carry on doing the same thing, you'll see that this same section will be over here. Because the same thing happens after 270, so it goes like this. So between 0 and 360, it looks something like this. Make sure it goes through 360. Okay, something like this. This is how it should look. This is y equals, whoops y equals the tan of x between 0 and 360. Okay, so that's something important for you to know. So you should know how to sketch this without doing what I showed you. But if you do have any doubt or you forgot how it looks, then, you know, that will help you to remember. And remember when it says math error for the tan curve, that's only one of the three trig curves that has these asymptotes. That means there's an asymptote at that point. It means it gets close to that point without ever touching it. 
and then the opposite side of it, it starts from the opposite, from the negative side. Okay, so there we have the graph of y equals tan x from 0 to 360, that's part A. And then part B says solve the equation 5 tan x equals 1 for values of x between 0 and 360. Again, this is something which is more um, focused solving trig equations. The first thing you've got to do is make tan x the subject. So we divide both sides by 5. And then we, we want to find the, the, the angles for which the tan ratio is 1 fifth. So what we're going to do is we're going to find inverse tan of 1 fifth. We use the inverse tan button in our calculator when we know the ratio and want to find the angle that has that ratio. So we go to our calculator and we put inverse tan. So we press shift tan and we're going to have 1 over 5. And that will give us the main angle that has that ratio, which is 11.3099. I'll write it like that for now. 11.3099. Okay, so that's the main angle. Okay, now there's another angle within this range which shares the same um, tan ratio. As we can see, the answer has two spaces. And basically what we've just done is we found the angle somewhere over here. What we found here is this angle over here. That's the angle we just found, which was 11.3. Now we can see there's another angle over here which shares the same tan ratio okay now what is the other angle well the tan curve repeats itself every 180 degrees it repeats that same kind of pattern every 180 degrees okay so the other angle which shares the same uh, tan ratio as 11.3 is going to be 11.3 more than 180 180 plus 11.3 so you take for the other angle you say 11.3099 added to 180 and that will give you your answer Take this answer, add 180 to it, and you get your answer, which is 191.3099. 191, was it 91? Yeah, point three zero nine nine. So our final answers, angles, as it's mentioned in the front of the paper, should be given to one decimal place. If the answer, if the degree of accuracy is not specified, and the answer is not exact, then you should give your answers to three decimal places in case of angles one th sorry three significant figures in case of angles one decimal place so we're going to write this as 11.3 and 191.3 okay that's how you round that to one decimal place for both of them and there are your answers for part b of this question so with the tan curve with a, with a tan ratio it repeats every 180 so it's very simple you just add 180 to your answer to get the other answers for the sine and cosine ratio they're slightly different. You have to think about, um, you know, other factors which you'll find uh, questions which address how to deal with sine and cosine curves in, uh, in other parts of the uh, playlist. Although I think I'll just quickly go through it. For the sine curve, it looks something like this. Okay, so there's an angle over here that you find, inverse sine of whatever that ratio is. And there's another angle over here that you find, which is the same sine ratio. And that angle, because of the symmetry of the curve, is 180 minus this angle here. Because this length and that length is the same. For the sine curve, the first angle you find with your calculator, that will be the principal angle. And 180 minus that will give you the other angle, which shares the same sine ratio. Okay, But for the cosine curve, it looks something like this. Okay. And the principal angle will be, for example, here. And the other angle is all the way on this side. And in this case, this angle is 360 minus this angle. So for here, it's 180 minus the angle. It's 180, so you get the angle that the calculator gives, and 180 minus the angle. For the cosine curve, you get the angle that the calculator gives, and then 360 minus the angle. And that's how you find the principal angles and the other main angle for sine and cosine. For tangent, it's just simply the angle you find and add 180 to that okay so you if you look at some of the other videos where i've solved trig equations involving sine and cosine i'll go into more detail in those videos um i hope that was clear thank you for watching um other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that the link will be in this area over here other questions about trigonometry um and i specifically will put a special playlist just for trig graphs and trig equations can be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this region over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.